Meredith's been bringing us up to date on the Archimax. Now that you're here, we'd like your assessment as well. Well, we built several prototypes and tested them thoroughly. There's no doubt that the prototypes performed flawlessly. They're the best drives in the world. I understand that, but now you are in production, isn't that right? That's right. I think we're more interested in your assessment of the production. Well, we've been shaking out the lines, dealing with the problems as they arise. It's a pretty standard startup experience for us. We're still in the early stages. I'm sorry. I thought you've been in production for two months. Yes, it's true. Two months doesn't sound like the early stages to me. Some of your product cycles are as short as nine months, isn't that right? Nine to eighteen months, yes. Then after two months, you must be in full production. How do you assess that as the principal person in charge? Well, I'd say the problems are of the order of magnitude we generally experience at this point. I'm interested to hear that because earlier today, Meredith indicated to us that the problems were actually quite serious. She said you might even have to go back to the drawing board. I hope I haven't conveyed the wrong impression to Meredith, because I have full confidence in our ability to manufacture the drives. I'm sure you do, but we're looking down the barrel at competition from Sony and Philips, and I'm not sure that a simple expression of your confidence is adequate. How many of the drives coming off the line meet specifications? I don't have that information. Just approximately. I wouldn't want to say, without precise figures. Are precise figures available? Yes, I just don't have them at hand. Meredith indicated that the line is running at 29% capacity, and that only 5% of the drives meet specifications. Is that your understanding? That's more or less how it has been. Yes. The seek times are off specs, and there's a power flicker in the screen? Yes, that's correct. I am afraid I need some help here. With figures and reports like that, in what do you base your confidence in Archimax? The reason is that we've seen all this before. We've seen production problems that look insurmountable, but then get resolved quickly. I see. So you think your past experience will hold true here? Yes. I do. Please don't misunderstand Tom. We're not trying to put you on the spot. We have long ago identified several reasons for acquisition of this company, irrespective of any specific problem with Archimax, so I don't think Archimax is a critical issue today. We just want to know where we stand on it, and we'd like you to be as frank as possible. Well there. Our problems. We're in the midst of assessing them now. We have some ideas, but some of the problems may go back to design. Give us worst case. Worst case. We pull the line, rework the housings, possibly the controller chips, and then go back on. Causing a delay of... Up to nine months. What? Meredith suggested that the maximum delay would be six weeks. I hope that's right, but you asked for worst case. Do you really think it will take nine months? You asked for worst case. I think it's unlikely. But possible? Yes, possible. Let me see if I understand this right. If there are design problems with the drive, they occurred under your stewardship, is that correct? Yes, it is. Well, having gotten us into this mess, do you really think you're the person to clean it up? Yes, I do. In fact, I think I'm the best possible person to do it. As I said, we've seen this kind of situation before. And we've handled it before. I'm close to all the people involved, and I am sure we can resolve it. When you're working the cycles, it's sometimes not so serious to go back to the boards. Nobody likes to do it, but it may have its advantages. In the old days, we made a complete generation of new products every year or so. Now. More and more, we also make incremental changes within generations. For example, if we have to redo the chips, we may be able to code in the newest video compression algorithms, which weren't available when we started. 
that will enhance the end user perception of speed by more than simply the drive specs. We won't go back to build a 100 millisecond drive. We'll build an 80 millisecond drive. But in the meantime, you won't have entered the market. No, that's true. You won't have established your brand name or established market share for your product stream. You won't have your dealerships or your OEMs or your advertising campaign. Because you won't have a product line to support it. You may have a better drive, but it'll be an unknown drive. You'll be starting from scratch. All true, but the market responds fast. And so does the competition. Where will Sony be by the time you get to market? Will they be at 80 milliseconds too? I don't know. I wish I had more confidence about where we are on this thing, to say nothing of whether we're properly staffed to fix it. I feel like I'm pulling teeth here and not getting any reassurance. This isn't an inquisition Tom. We just want to get a handle on what's wrong with the line. I don't know, is the honest answer. Wait a minute. You are the head of manufacturing. You are in charge of Archimax. There are problems with it that could take up to nine months to fix, and I assume that means at least a year, and the bottom line is, you don't know. You know. It's too bad this stinking meeting had to happen today. What you don't know is that we just found out about the problems with Archimax less than 24 hours ago from our operations manager in Malaysia, who should have reported any problems to us over a month ago. In the meantime, my new boss, who I suspect is frickin' undermining and sabotaging the whole project, has nothing better to do than to go crying to you with details that my staff and I haven't even had a day to properly investigate. You want an answer? I'll give you one. My personal assumption is that the prototypes work flawlessly, so any problems we are having are most likely due to someone altering the specifications I set up for the unit or the line. Given another 24 hours, I could prove to you that Meredith's somehow behind this whole thing. Why? Because she's a control freak who has to have her hand in the cookie jar constantly and take control of everything, even though she doesn't know the difference between software and a cashmere sweater. Good grief Tom. Now. You're finally talking my language. It sure took you long enough. Why couldn't you have just said that at the very beginning when we started the meeting? You know. Corporate politics. And all that. It's so hard to conform to the stinking system. Most corporate types usually frown on using the word. Assumption. But you were starting to make me look and feel like an ass, so I just went with it. Okay. Now that you're talking like a normal human being, what are we talking in terms of downtime here? Once my corporate spy confirms my suspicions, I expose Meredith at the press conference. I fire our ops manager in Malaysia and give the job to the foreman. In the meantime, our busy body corporate counsel that has to go sticking his nose and everything will resign due to lawsuits that Digicom and myself personally will heap upon his sanctimonious head. Once the air is cleared, we can fix the specifications and repair the problems. You're looking at a few weeks. Tops. Thank you, Tom. I must say, You've restored my confidence and reassurance in Archimax. Say, how would you like to be CTO for my company? I appreciate the offer. Let me cash in on my stock after the spin-off and become a millionaire first. If I decide not to retire, I will show you how we can move past a portable CD-RAM drive whose specs will be obsolete in less than a year, and concentrate on making virtual reality actually become reality in the commercial marketplace.